Hello everyone and welcome back to Stock Career Mode in Kerbal Space Program 1.8 and we suddenly have oodles of funds and science and we're feeling rich now, we're feeling very rich thanks to our recent mission to do now. We are one Kerbal short though because uh, alas we did lose a Kerbal last time, Dorori Kerman killed in action, smashing into the surface of Duna valiantly. <sighs> well, anyway, the point is we got the job done in the end, and we are never hiring those Kerbals. <laughs> they, they can just buzz off. Uh, explore Ike sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? I don't want to bring Duna Ejecta. We brought back a Duna Stone. There is now Duna Ejecta which is from these biomes here. Uh, let's focus on Ike, since that's what they've got us doing. Uh, Explore Ike is good. Science Day from the sur surface of Ike I can do. Uh, maybe we should rescue some more Kerbals first though, because we lost one. And uh, really, we only have Jeb and Val as far as pilots are concerned. And that's not good enough. We need other people who might be able to well, to, to say it kindly, take up the slack. Let's say it that way. Uh, take up the slack. And uh, what we really mean is we can risk on very, very mm, unlikely to succeed missions and not kill Jebra Val. So, Diller from Orbit of Kerbin, Rich Hat from Orbit of Kerbin, uh, Hangle from Orbit of, Orbit of Moon, <laughs> from the surface of Duna. No. No, well, actually, that wouldn't be too bad. Okay, um, well, we can pick up a whole lot of contracts, so why not? Uh, Diller, fine. Rich Hat, fine. Um, Erebri, fine. So that's three Kerbals from Kerbin Orbit that we can rescue. Alright. Now, what about Sciences? Well, do we have, can we get the three-person pod yet, or is that down the road? Well, command modules is here. So, um, we could get that to rescue them. I guess. I mean, this will allow docking and such. Uh, well, we need the... Let's get the Clampatron, Clampatron Jr. Hello, Transparent Elemental. Okay, so we got that. It'll have advanced flight control. We never even used the Mark II command pod, but I don't like the look of it because it looks wrong. It has too small a top. But uh, yeah, and then we can get uh, command modules and then we'll have the Mark III command module. Should we get space exploration to just fill this out? Maybe later. Okay, so we're gonna build a rocket with the Mark 1-3. Why is it 1-3 anyway? Why can't they just call it Mark 3 now? Uh, two topmost contracts? What do you mean? You mean this one? Like that? Do not eject a... I think it's new. I, I don't know if it's from a DLC or not. But all we're gonna do is explore Ike and then rescue three Kerbals. So we're focusing on three Kerbals first. So obviously we're going to need to have a probe core. And we don't have better probe cores now, we just have the Octo still. That looks better. Okay, so... We'll, we'll put a heat shield on, even though I don't think we need a whole lot of a blader on it. We'll just put half. Or yeah, if we're gonna do like reusability... What's the biggest heat shield we've got? That That is the biggest heat shield we've got. Hmm. Well, maybe we can sneak a... This is dangerous though, but then again... We're rescuing them, so they owe us. Alright, so... Little engines. We still don't have those Verners. 2000? Yeah, but it's got a thrust weight ratio of ick. Uh, alright. I'll take it. I don't know why they ever created the radial ones, to be honest. There's a... There's this version of this. That's even better. We could put something on top. 
uh, make it smoother if there's something small enough. Hmm. I don't know if there is something small enough though. Even the nose cone, the smallest nose cone, this one, is pretty darn big. Compared to those engines. I like that model too. I really like that. There are smaller nose cones. Maybe we haven't unlocked them. Or this very small nose cone. Mm, doop, doop. Thank you. And it is lighter. Alright, that'll do for that. I really don't like the gap between the pod and the tank. We'll just... We don't need a whole lot of power, I don't think. This parachute's not enough? What's the point of it then? I thought it was sort of like uh, meant for this pod. I mean, empty this tank is not gonna be that much. An anonymous cheerer, thank you for the anonymous cheer, 69. You're like so whales. <laughs> ah, there we go. <laughs> I was going like... Who's this person trying to assert Sir Wales' gig? So, I wasn't originally going to get the Outer Worlds, but then Rocketology mentioned that this Microsoft Xbox Game Pass had it, and that's only one buck a month, and then five bucks a month after that. So I was like, well, for one buck, <laughs> I mean, and you know, even if I accidentally left the Game Pass going for a year, it'd be less than the total cost of the game. <laughs> I decided that, okay, I might as well. So, uh, and it's got other games that I might want to play. I never got Metro Exodus. That might be good. Hellblade is an option. Battlefield, Gothic, Armada, and Ark. So, anyway, for now I have the Outer Worlds. I installed that. You had a crazy week and you're glad it's over? Well, good times. I mean, now that's over. A test for Halloween? Yeah, trying to educate kids for Halloween is difficult. Yeah, I mean, the thing is with all the RPG stuff is that people generally don't want to watch it because they want to try it out on their own. Um, do we really need four of these ants? Maybe maybe we should switch to the to the spark engine instead. Okay, but Mikko said that we might need more parachutes. Which is annoying. I think it should be enough. Rescue three. Let's just call it that. And let's get rid of crew. And launch. Um, let's set Rich Hat as a target. We'll go into a higher orbit and let Rich Hat catch up with us. Okay, throttle up. SAS is on. Everything going well with this stream, hopefully. And we don't need my propellant. Hold on. Uh, it doesn't matter. Launch. Grease and precision. I'm surprised they don't put more of these Kerbal Rescues in more interesting orbits. They're all low down and equatorial. It's very boring. I mean, we've been to Duna. They could throw us a curveball here and there. Well, if I want to deorbit this stage, I'll have to leave it there. So, separation. The moon looks better than Kerbin. So, in Fortnite progress, I I have made it to number two twice. I have not yet made it to number one. The last time was really close. Oh, we, we don't have calm. Uh, we'll see how close we get and then the Kerbal can EVA out. I played... 24 rounds of Fortnite, and I've been in top 10 eight times, which is, I think, above average. 
nearly a one-to-one -one kill to death ratio. I'm proud of myself. I didn't think I was capable of this. Honestly. Good contract mod? I mean, contract configurator is the actual mod, there's packs for it. I don't know which pack would suit you. Usually there's the stations and bases one. Whoa, slow down! Good thing I packed oodles of Delta V in here. Alright. Come on over here, Rich Hat. You better be- you are a pilot, good times. Does the world we live in seem even vaguely realistic? If I were to write this scrap in a novel, nobody would believe it. <laughs> Why is RCS so tough to get right? What do you mean? What RCS? Oodles of Delta V is a technical term. Except you should always refer to it by by an acronym because that's how everything works in space, so it's ODV. Uh, we're just rescuing three Kerbals from Kerbin Orbit so we don't have to hire any. We've got one. Well, we got one pilot here already, Rich Hat. Okay, this is not a cockpit to be in a scientist, honestly. And then imparting a role on it. But is that pilot properly trained for this vehicle? <laughs> Is it a Vostok capsule? Maybe not, I don't know. And can we trust a pilot that got stranded in the middle of nowhere? Alright. Erebri. Deorbited the I don't think that was enough to deorbit the debris, I wish. We're gonna have to tracking station that. Well, I mean, they're all in the same plane. They're all down and standard low orbits. You just go higher, let them catch up. And then once they catch up, bring the orbit back down again, and that's it. Slow down! No, come back! Oh, should be good enough. Another scientist. Well, we got one pilot. They always grab on upside down. Anyway, uh, we don't really need the antennae anymore because we do have the pilot. Purple's getting rescued. I might have forgotten what's, act what's actually happening. No, this isn't rocket science. They're sure getting jostled a whole lot considering the pod is looking pretty steady. We should probably dump the fuel so the parachutes aren't overburdened. Boy, this thing... Well... Well, it didn't take much of Blader. People have said that there's like heat problems in 1.8. I gotta admit, I, I don't know what those are. The Blader seems to be ablating quite nominally. Kerbal climate change? Well, we don't have Scatterer in here, so we can't have that. <laughs> um, we don't get the KSC getting flooded every now and again, so that's not it. Jeez, even with three parachutes, it's only 8.5, 8.6? Crazy. Ooh. Oh, the engines flew off. Everything flew off except for uh, the the capsule itself. Crazy. Such impact damage. Well, we're gonna need four parachutes? Thanks for following to Mule. I want the heat shield back. We've rescued Erebri. Rescued Rich Hat. I'm not gonna keep the. Otherwise, when we rescue other ones. It'll be too confusing because they put them in the same orbit. So. Here we go. Lots of scientists. Five rescued scientists. One rescued pilot. And one lost rescued engineer. Okay, so we wanted to do a mission to Ike. But that might require us to time warp for a while. Build new orbital station around Duna. Hmm. 
we even have the cupola? I guess we must have. Well, we could launch a second mission to Duna alongside the main mission. Cupola have two pilots on the station. Hmm. Facility supporting 12 Kerbals. Okay, hold on. So we'll definitely need the Hitchhiker can. I feel like before I want to go to Duna Time Warp to that window. I should get at least this science and... And this one. That's 320. We just need a little bit more. Oh, come on. Stop. Stop this nonsense. Why couldn't they ask us to build a moon station first? And still, they're really sparing on the Minmus contracts. We haven't even done goo on Minmus. Well, there are two Kerbals we need to rescue from Orbit of the Moon. But that's money, that's not science. How much do tourist contracts pay these? Not much. Tourists aren't worth it. Wouldn't take a whole lot to reconfigure this for a moon mission. But... I don't know, it seems really risky the way the parachutes and everything collapsed and everything. Uh, maybe we should just go pod alone. We'll temporarily call this rescue 3 and then pick up those... Why am I doing this again? Um, we need to carry some science. What science have we done? We've only got one mystery goo observation from high over the moon, so we can do low over the moon. Um, and we haven't done a single science junior. I mean, I guess it's a perfectly fine interface for the Terrier engine, maybe? There are no rules. Um, let's get two goos. We're over part, though. Um, one goo. It'll be a little bit imbalanced, but the reaction wheels should be able to handle that. Um, that. Uh, well, we'll skip the vanity batteries, I suppose. Uh, maybe have just two of them? I want to put struts on here, but we don't have the part count for it. I don't know if just one science junior will give us... Maybe we should just go with two science juniors. Hmm. Then, how would you mount the terrier? Uh... Do science juniors radio? They do. Hmm. Okay. Oh, send a scientist? Hmm. Okay. We can do that. Because we're only rescuing two Kerbals from the moon. So we've got a spare seed. Alright. Then we'll take one in the goo. It, it makes me feel bad to make it this way, but let's auto strut. I, I want fairings as soon as possible. <laughs> okay, so... One scientist. Well, Bob hasn't gotten a chance yet. It'll be Bob. Okie dokie. SAS, throttle up. Right engines are going. Go! They still haven't added big landing legs to the game, have they? I mean, we've got robotics now, so there's that, but still. No SpaceX landing legs, right? Nah, it looks less awkward. 
So for those just joining, we are trying to rescue two Kerbals from orbit around the moon while doing some science. Hopefully getting 60 science is what we're looking for here. Okay. Oh. That's fine. We'll just do... We'll transfer the old-fashioned way. Oh, there it is. And... go. <laughs> plotting. Who cares about plotting? So, did they at least put these Kerbals into more interesting positions around the moon? That's one, and that's the other. Well, still equatorial. Oh no, wait, this one's a little bit inclined. Oh god, it's gonna be a while. Maybe we should... Eve will probably happen. For... Maybe we should send something to Eve. Even though they haven't given us a contract. Okay, um, you know, uh, this high one, well, it's easier to capture when you're low, so we'll, we'll still go for that one first. So, negative 11. That's really low. I'm not gonna go any lower than that. Okay. We're gonna go right past periapsis and try and begin burning right here, where we're coming closest to the target. And rather than burning specifically for orbit, we'll burn specifically for retro target. Now you know what? Maybe just retro will be fine. I, I want that. Uh, we should be able to meet at that descending node right there. Well, mess that up. Uh, eh, we'll just wait. We'll be patient. I mean, I can't get lower than... See, they place angle at a altitude that's tough to get lower than angle to catch up. Okay... Uh, why don't we do some science? Uh, we're pretty low right now. Observe material bay. 45 near the moon, and then... We didn't do the- oh! Mr. Doobie donated ten dollars! Thank you, Mr. Doobie! Thank you very much. That is the first donation in a long time, which is why I hadn't heard that. When was the last time? Donation history. Last time I got a donation was from Anonymous in uh, June. <laughs> So thank you very much. Now, of course, I've gotten bits and subscribers and all that, of course. Okay, so let's have uh, Bob grab that stuff and reset. Oh, Bob. Bob is not the best EVA specialist. Okay. We're still closing on our to-be-rescued Kerbal. What pod is that? Oh, that's just the Mark 1. Angle, what are you? Pilot! Good times. There was science? Hmm. I never encountered that, but I never checked. It's all right. I, I I want to have done the science, not just pick it up. I mean, come on. It's like a ton. Well, I don't want a ton of science because that will negate the need for me to go out and do all the science. I want to do the science. Oh, actually, what? Oh, well, he is already ahead. I'm confused. So he's slower. I'm catching up. Okay, that. Uh, so. About... there should be about right. We'll see. Uh, we can do the high over moon science. Well, we already done the mystery goo. Just the materials bay. 
Yes, I don't remember if we brought back the mystery goo though. 2.8 signs for that. Okay, EBA. Collect data, remove data, restore. Data, data, restore. Okay. Don't have to spend it. No, but then, but it won't be undone things in my queue, right? When I go to the archives, it won't say, well, it doesn't say you haven't done this, but it'll say you have done this and I don't have to do it. And I, when I actually try and do it, I won't get any points for it. That's not nice. Large slimy alien looking eggs? No. Trying to kill vegetables? There aren't any vegetables. We don't do vegetables here. And just for the record, I don't approve of people judging Kerbals by the color of their skin. They could be lizards. Or amphibians. Yep. Though, the way they use swim... Hmm. Yeah, well, in Realism Overhaul, they do have breathing. Uh, plants need breathing too, by the way. <laughs> plants are not immune to this requirement, it's just... They breathe a little bit differently. Anyway, so so the, the breathing argument is bogus, because plants need... Anybody who makes that claim just hasn't met a plant, so it's just... Well, I already... Uh, demonstrated that the other arguments attempting to assess that they are plants are not valid arguments, so you have to have some basis. Yes, they need oxygen. Uh, yes, plants, pl plants need both carbon dioxide and oxygen. Yes. The stock game gives absolutely no guidance as to what kind of critter Kerbals are, except that they're they're sort of much more mobile than your typical plant. And active. No, it's the same as in stock for the mass. Uh, they have only got mass if they're in a command chair, basically. I actually grow the bloody plants, so I know. And let me tell you something, none of my plants ever went to space, so there. <laughs> There's an argument for you. Oldest stuff, largest stuff. Actually, funguses are the largest stuff. Like, an you guys, you guys get all your stuff from, like, YouTube videos and movies, huh? <laughs> like on Avatar. Okay, I see no objections to releasing that. Off it goes. I mean, there's nothing wrong with YouTube videos, mind you. There are mountains, but we should clear them, I think. Okay, so pilot and pilot. Finally, we got some pilots. Such G-forces. Seven meters per second this time. I swear this parachute used to be much better than it is now. We got the science that we were looking for. Not all the science in the world, but the science we were looking for. So I want my precision propulsion, always. And I want... We, we get the fairing here and the docking port. That's a good deal, because I wanted that fairing and I wanted that docking port. So, that is what we wanted. Okay. With that, I think we should... Uh... Oh, plant a flag on Minmus, plant a flag on the moon, plant a flag on... Well, I want the plant a flag on Ike for sure. Because we've already got two other Ike contracts. Explore and Science Data from Surface. And... Um... Do we want to... I mean, new uh, Kerbin Orbit Station would be nice. I think that's a good quick one. And then we'll uh, start... Uh, we'll launch... to Ike. 
Will time warp. Uh, I wish they gave us a- oh wait, new surface outposts on EVE. No! Position a satellite in synchronous orbit of EVE. Well, that's fine. Uh, so we can put a seismometer on it. So this says thermometer in this orbit. Okay. And this says seismometer in this orbit. Inclination 166. That's crappy inclination. All right. I wonder if we can do both on the same, but this one needs a 5.1 degree inclination and this one needs a 166 degree inclination. And it's a pretty big change. But uh, we pack enough delta V and it should be possible. I mean, that's reversing our orbit for heaven's sakes. Mm, but I want the Kerbin Orbit Station too for the heck of it. So yeah, we're going to launch the Kerbin Orbit Station really quick and then we'll time warp to the EVE window and then we'll do Ike. 